Good morning, you at home, and welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty with Allison Maloney. And let's go back to Eastern Europe and welcome in former press secretary for President Zelensky, Lula Mendel. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So this morning, President Zelensky addressed the Italian parliament, um, and he talked about how 15,000 Russian, Russian soldiers have been killed. You know, watching the president over the last few weeks, he really has a way with messaging. He talks to the audience that he knows he's speaking to. Talk to us a little bit more about that and what his, his plan is, you think, moving forward. Well, President Zelensky uh, has always been very successful with his speech writing, and he always takes people's hearts and minds with his speeches. He's actually the one who produces the messages for the speech writing and who actually maybe doesn't write with his hands, but definitely says what needs to be written there. And he mm. uses uh, very good comparative uh, uh, metaphors to explain to the people what's going on right now in the country. So, for instance, when he was talking to Israeli people, he talked about Nazi regime mm. and Holocaust. When he talked to the U.S. people, he explained that there is a huge comparison that Ukrainians have been living through 9-11 every day. Right. Today, mm. uh, he, uh, you know, he was talking to uh, the uh, Pope Francis, and uh, he actually uh, uh, was uh, uh, glad to negotiate if there is an opportunity that Vatican can become uh, one more platform to mediate um, the peaceful negotiations between Russia and Ukraine. That's interesting. Um, uh, let's talk about that in, in, in just a moment, because that we had that as some breaking news this morning. So you basically um, are, are the worthy Jen Psaki for President Volodymyr Zelensky. Um, how has he changed? What have you seen from President Zelensky over the last 27 days? He is somebody that is now uh, known uh, the world over. Um, he's become an international hero to many uh, in freedom-loving countries here, like the United States. Um, what's changed with President Zelensky, or did you always know that, that what we are seeing from him was always in him to be this type of leader? Yes, actually, what I think is that uh, the uh, types of character that he owns uh, is being revealed to the world, because usually it was something that Ukrainians only could note. But in fact, I know that um, he is the most hardworking person I've ever met. And he always, through prizes, works at around the clock. I also know that he has never been afraid of any kind of risk. And his feeling of leading the country is the much bigger than the instinct of self-preservation. So when the United States actually um, kindly suggested to evacuate him when Russians were entering the city of Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, I knew it was not possible. We were traveling with him to the Donbass region that Russia... Um, invaded eight years ago, and I know that he always was uh, insisting on going to the front lines to show the solidarity with the soldiers, to go to the uh, uh, zones of shelling. So right now, when he stays with his people, it's the most natural and organic table mm -hmm. behavior that I could imagine from Volodymyr Zelensky. Yeah, well, we, we, it's a pleasure having you on to share more about uh, President Zelensky since you worked with him very closely. Uh, Lulia Mendel, thank you so much. Yeah, we appreciate come back and it. See us. Yeah, and please stay safe. Thank you. Thank All right. You. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.